Hey, Trey, uh, have you know, have you, do you feel a hundred percent? Do you feel as if you picked up where you left off? Yeah, I do. I know um, everybody's been asking me a lot and I'm not lying when I say I do. Um, I feel no different, uh, whether it's taking BP, even live BP today, we, we went in there and hit off pitchers and um, I felt better than I expected to. I felt, felt good. So I'm always ready to get it, get in there and kind of strap it on and, and get it going. So um, yeah, from, from every standpoint of the game, I really do feel just like I did before. Dan Connolly, you can go ahead. Hey, Trey, you said during this year that one of the most difficult things is not being around the guys. Now you are, now you've had a chance to, to kind of be back with everybody. What has that been like? And do you have any specific uh, examples of, of how that was for you? Yeah, it's been, it's been so great because some of the guys I haven't seen since, um, you know, I told them last spring training what was going on. So it was really good to, again, kind of come full circle and get back down here to Sarasota and see everybody in the place that where I left it was um, it was really tough and, and a really hard time. And, and it's been great to um, see the guys again and, and just be back in the locker room. That is what I missed last year. Um, it was really weird not being part of the team and, and away from everybody. So it, it, I'm really cherishing being back with everyone. Pete Gilbert, you can go ahead. Hey, Trey, great to see you. You know, I imagine, you know, the first full team workout was something you thought a lot about when you were having chemo, going through rehab, doing all those things to have that actuality actually happen today. Can you just take us through the, what it felt like to get in the cage just after all that you've gone through? All right. It felt great. Um, you know, I made sure to enjoy it and kind of cherish today because again, there were, you know, times, uh, especially when I got diagnosed early on where I wasn't totally sure if I'd be playing baseball again. So um, just being able to come out here and, and, um, you know, feel like myself and feel great and, and participate in everything fully um, is something that I'm very appreciative of and I don't take for granted at all. Sean, stop there. You can go ahead. Hey, Trey, great to see you, man. Um, so in, in your eyes, you know, your comeback journey, um, you know, Brandon says no restrictions. You say you're 100%. It, do you feel like your comeback from this past year is complete now or do you think it'll be complete in your eyes when you take the field opening day in my eyes I'd say more more opening day uh, I'd see that as a complete I mean I'm very proud of where I'm right now and I'm extremely happy to be here but I think yeah being in a major league game um you know one of 162 um, that's kind of what I always saw is like, you know, the, you know, making the comeback, I'd say, um, in my eyes. So, so, um, to answer your question, I'd say opening day. Steve Molesky, you're up. Trey, for any player, you get into the summer, the dog days of August, they call them are so challenging and there's no handbook for what you and your body have gone through in the last few months. Do you, do you ever think about the long grind of it? How? all that plays out for you? Will there be certain things you'll have to do to make sure everything's going as you want it to? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll kind of feel it out as I go. Um, I know that, yeah, I might get more sore and might have more aches and stuff. I mean, I'm not exactly sure um, what playing every single day will be like, but um, I can say that this off season, I, I worked out very hard. I mean, for like two hours, almost every day. So um, I definitely train myself to get ready for a season and um, yeah, and I feel great. So, um, and, and yeah, it, along with that, I'm going to be 29 next month too. So um, I know it's still pretty young, but in baseball terms, you know, I'm going to be another year older. So you just kind of want to make sure you get in there on the foam roller, stretch out, do everything you need to do to uh, make sure that you're healthy the full year. Joe Treza, you're up. Trey, you've spoken a lot about your health and about getting back on the field, but just from a baseball standpoint, like what was it like to have the game taken away from you for a short while? It was, it was definitely tough, but at the same time, um, you know, right when you get a cancer diagnosis and you find out you have to go through chemotherapy, you're not really thinking about baseball too much. Um, you know, I'd be lying if, if I'd say that was the first thing that came to mind. I, um, you know, the whole time I just wanted to, be healthy long term and and live a long life um and and you know baseball definitely was on the back burner when I was going through all that but once chemo ended I was able to really look forward to baseball again and and um you know it's been driving me and motivating me but 
at the beginning and when you're going through it. Um, baseball was always on my mind a little bit, but I'd say being healthy was always the top priority. Mark Viviano, you're up. Hey, Trey. Uh, for the record, 29 is young. I almost remember <laughs> it. Well done. Good to see you. I, this is your story, obviously, but many people are adopting it for their inspiration. How much of that has reached back to you in terms of what it means to other people to see you doing what you're doing right now? And how do you handle that? It means a lot, uh, especially because a lot of the people that helped me get through last year were, um, you know, I had become friends with a lot of colon cancer survivors, um, you know, of all stages, stages one through four. And, um, and that really helped me get through and, and um, you know, realize that I can, um, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy going through chemotherapy and, and it takes a toll on you. But at the same time, there's light at the end of the tunnel and, and a lot of people, um, you know, go on to live normal lives. So you really have to think positive when you're going through it. So a lot of people helped me out um, through my journey. And now I just kind of, you know, being able to inspire other people and help other people is, is what I see as returning the favor and something I want to do. John Mioli, you're up. Trey, when we spoke, you know, I guess it was this time last year when you got to camp and you reported early, just like you did this year, you said you had some baseball goals, you know, with your swing, you were trying to, you know, elevate the ball more, aim higher, have more of a, you know, up the middle, but that kind of approach. Did time away change what you wanted to do baseball wise? Did you have time to reflect on that kind of stuff once you started focusing and get on baseball? And where would you say your goals are right now? Yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I got to watch a lot of baseball last year um, and, and definitely watch more baseball than I ever have. So I would kind of like sometimes just stand up uh, in the living room when a game was going on and just kind of do like a dry swing or something. And, and uh, I made sure that I watched some pitchers that I'd maybe face this year. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of continue what I did that, especially that September of 2019. I know it's, you know, that's a long time ago at this point, but um, just that minor adjustment of setting my sights a little higher. Um, yeah, I remember that and I'm still, um, you know, that's still my approach at the plate and that hasn't changed at all. Stan Charles, you're up. Trey, it's great to see you. You look fantastic. Uh, just wondering in a cliched way, has this experience of the past 12 months, has it altered your perspective about life in any meaningful way? Yeah, I'd say it has. Um, I, you know, up until that point, most of my biggest problems or worries were all baseball related. It was, you know, going through a slump was maybe the worst thing that I had gone through um, personally, and I'm very lucky, you know, to have said that at that point. So um, I had never obviously been through anything like this with me or a family member. So I uh, definitely put a lot in perspective. Um, and I'm hoping to take a lot of that, uh, you know, into this year. And, um, you know, I, I really think that I'm going to appreciate not that I didn't before, but I really will appreciate being able to play Major League Baseball every single day. Jerry Coleman, you're up. Trey, good to see you. Uh, how long ago did you get to Sarasota? And in terms of getting yourself ready, having arrived early, are you talking to Brandon about pacing yourself and, you know, getting back in terms of uh, being ready for opening day, being the most important thing, even though you've been there for a while? Yeah, I got down February 1st. So, um, but like I said, I, I started, you know, kind of working out relatively hard like late October I gave myself a month after chemo to really ease into things and then um, felt like I was good enough to kind of have my normal off season so I um, yeah I didn't come here feeling behind the eight ball at all I feel I came here feeling like I typically do on a normal year so um, you know obviously I'm going to ease into it a little bit when I got here but um, no I've been pretty much full full go since I've been here last question from Pete Gilbert go ahead Pete Hey, Trey, uh, you know, you knew how what you meant to think to fans, you were just a ball player before this. I mean, you're, you're one of the mo most popular players on the team, and you've always had a you know, great interaction with fans, but they're outpouring to you over this the last 10 months or so, 11 months. What has it meant to you, and was that helpful as well in getting through and just, you know, fighting through something like this? What did that mean to you? 
Yeah, it meant the world to me. Um, the support I got from my teammates and, and all the fans here, um, it didn't surprise me in the slightest bit. I mean, the fans in Baltimore always, um, you know, have been so amazing at rallying behind their players. And, and um, yeah, it didn't surprise me in the least, least bit. The, the support I got um, meant so much and really helped me get through it and, and get really excited to get back to playing baseball.